Despite this being called a bow grip, the best archers in the world don't actually grip their bow when at full draw. If you struggle with consistency or accuracy downrange, this is a great place to start, and I'm going to show you how to properly hold your bow in this video. In this episode of Archery Basics Explained, I'm going to show you how to hold the bow grip properly, and then I'm going to cover a few reasons as to why you do not want to actually hold onto the bow grip at the end of this video. So, in a nutshell, all bows are roughly the same. Doesn't matter if it's a compound recurve bear bow or traditional bow like this one here, this uh, reflex deflex long bow. All you wanna do is push into the center line of the grip and push that center line to the spot you're aiming at on the target. In order to properly put your hand into the bow, all you need to do is this. If you were to tell your bow to stop when at full draw to not wanna hit you, right? Do the stop symbol with your hand. Put these knuckles here at roughly a 45 degree angle and then take that center line, which this arrow would be the center line of that grip, and place it right here on your hand. You'll see that it goes from the V here of the uh, webbing on the index finger and the thumb, and then it goes straight down, and that's it, right there. That's where you want to put the hand into the grip, and then all you do with your fingers is just relax them when at full draw. And you can, if you really want to, take your uh, middle ring and uh, pinky finger and curl them against your palm. And then you can take your index finger and just rest it on the front of that bow. Rest it on the front of the grip. Don't actually hold on to the bow. Just let it sit there and that should be sufficient. It's essentially like doing a push-up, but you're just pushing into the center point of the grip, that center line, and pushing that right at the target. You'll see that I'm not death gripping the bow, and I'm not holding on to it, and I'm not preventing it from jumping out of my hand. I have no fear of dropping it, because I know that just resting my index finger on the front of the riser is more than enough to catch the bow to prevent it from coming out of my hand, and then that way I have no issue at all with torquing the bow. A lot of people around the world shoot with finger slings because they don't want to drop their bow. Especially with Olympic style recurve, it's pretty important to use a finger sling because of the way that bow jumps and the balance. You're definitely going to need a finger sling. However, shooting bare bow, less so. In traditional, I found that I can basically shoot all day long without a sling and I've never once even come close to dropping this bow despite shooting quite a few arrows out of it by now. One other quick thing to reference on your hand as far as putting your hand in the right place on the grip is your lifeline. You'll see a lifeline if you were to fold your hand in half. That line right there, that wrinkles, that's called your lifeline. My bow grip never goes to the pinky side of my lifeline. It is always only on the thumb side of my lifeline. If I have it crossing over this direction at all towards the pinky, that is telling me that I'm using far too much of my palm to grip into the bow, and that will allow me to wrap those fingers around the bow. Whereas if I put my lifeline outside of the edge of the grip, you'll see that it shifts my knuckles more in that 45 degree angle, like that, and then now my fingers have a lot harder time to grip onto the bow. In fact, my index finger is really the only one that can comfortably touch it. Same goes for any other bow and any other grip style. You'd want to make sure that you're not grabbing onto the bow and death gripping it because it can cause a lot of problems. The type of problems that it can cause is you're able to induce torque into the system. And that means if I were to grab onto the bow, I could turn it to the left, turn it to the right, and what do you think that's doing to my arrows? It's making them go left and right. I can also grab onto the bow and push it up or down in different ways. That also affects the vertical variance downrange. And what else that can cause is some tennis elbow symptoms. Because of the excess vibrations that exist in a bow, when you death grip it like this, those vibrations gotta go somewhere, it gets absorbed by your body, and causes all sorts of pain. One more quick thing you wanna make sure you don't do is you don't wanna grab the bow when you let go of the string. You'll notice that as I'm shooting, my fingers stay completely relaxed every single time I let go of the bow. I'm not gripping and grabbing onto the bow to prevent it from coming out of my hand because again, it doesn't really even jump all that hard and just my index finger resting on the front of this riser, the front of this bow, is enough to keep it in check and enough to keep it under control. If you like Archery Basics Explained and you have a great idea for another video, please comment below and let me know. I want to make sure I'm producing relevant content. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And consider supporting this channel. There's many different links in the description below. Thanks for watching.